Hey guys, welcome to my channel. It's Glam by Suzanne. My name is Suzanne. For those who are coming back, welcome back. Um, so today I'm coming to you guys with an unboxing, some swatches, and just a whole lot of fun with the brand new collection from Wet n Wild. It's enormous. It's the Wet n Wild Crystal Cavern Collection. So we'll be unboxing it together. We'll do some swatches of the products and I will let you know my thoughts. Um, this was sent to me by Duet PR in Toronto, so I am so excited to give you guys my opinions on it. By no means um, am I gonna alter my opinions because it was sent to me. I wanna be as honest and as candid with you guys so you know if it's worth your time and your money. But this packaging, like, can we just give it a moment and just appreciate it and just take it in? I love holographic stuff just in general, so this has like piqued my interest. Um, I waited to dig into it with you guys, so uh, let's get into it. And you know what it is, if you don't subscribe to me already, join the family. There is a subscribe button below. Make sure you hit it. Um, you can also make sure that you um, hit the bell notification so you know every time that I upload. Um, I try to upload at least twice a week. Sometimes I upload once a week, but I try to aim for two. Um, and if you don't follow me already, make sure you follow me on my Instagram. It is a boxy term sneak peek. I do a lot of different makeup looks on there, reviews, a whole bunch of stuff, and obviously boxy charm. Uh, so yeah. So without further ado, let's get into this. <laughs> Alrighty. So you guys might be wondering, why does your makeup look so basic, girl? Where are your lashes? <laughs> and the answer is, is I decided not to put on my lashes or anything like that because I want to use the products inside and test them live for you guys. So I have put on um, just a matte eyeshadow. I'll explain why later. And I have put on my base as well as my brows because God knows you need them. And they're not there without them. So I got to put them on through makeup. So I'm just going to dig in. Limited edition collection. It is by Wet n Wild. Um, first and foremost, you can get this exact box, like this PR box, from the Wet n Wild website for $49.99. Um, so it is available for purchase, even if you're not getting it in PR. And it, it is enormous. I'm going to try to fit it in the screen. When you open it, it looks like this. And I do love the girls that they chose. It's like such inclusivity, which I really, really appreciate. And when you look inside, I'm going to try to focus this a little bit for you guys to see. It has a whole bunch of eyeshadow trios right along. It has one highlighter right here and a bunch of lip glosses, some roller ball fragrances, as well as a setting spray and some highlighting rocks. And we'll talk a little bit about what this is. This entire collection is uh, themed on crystals, which is super in right now. And um, basically it's inspired by rose quartz, clear quartz, amethyst, and jade. I'm gonna go through all of the trios with you guys. I'm just gonna pop them out for you guys to see. So I'm gonna pop out all of these trios for you guys to see. And they look like this. So I'm just gonna pop them all out. So there are four different eyeshadow trios and I'll go through each and every single one with you guys and they're all crystal themed. These particular eyeshadow trios you can actually buy separately so you don't have to get them in the kit and let's get started. <laughs> so the first one which is actually my birthstone is amethyst and you open up the packaging like this. So the shade is amethyst. It's these beautiful, rich purples. So I'm gonna swatch them for you guys. So those are the shades right there. Um, and I'll put them behind my hand as well. So the most pigmented one is definitely the shimmery middle shade right here. And that shade is absolutely stunning. This is going to be definitely one of my favorites because I absolutely love purples and I'm sure you could actually build it up. It's just that I'm putting them on my hand. There's no primer, there's no concealer or anything like that. 
and that's pretty damn good for the fact that there's nothing as a base. Moving on to the next palette, this one is Clear Quartz. It is like a silvery, uh, glittery toned um, eyeshadow trio, so I'm just going to swatch this as well. So those are the three shades. Clear Quartz palette on me looks like this. The shade that is the most beaming is the silver shade, actually. And that's the one, the very first shade there. So super, super pigmented. Um, it's a little too icy for me. The third eyeshadow trio is called Jade, which is these beautiful emerald greens. And it looks like this. And I will swatch that for you as well. And those are the shades right there. And again, the... It's like a hollow green reflect. Those are the shades right there. I feel like the middle shade, which is this first green color, is not as pigmented as the other two, but these shades are absolutely beautiful, especially this duochrome one. And the last eyeshadow trio is the Rose Quartz, and I left my favorite for last. I mean, I always gravitate to these colors, and it looks like pinky sort of lavender shades and those are the shades right there They're... the two metallic shimmer shades are a really great formula and the other the first shade here is a different formula it's almost like a satin finish but I feel like the pigment is just definitely not as pigmented as the other two although it is beautiful it is a lot more softer in texture there you have it. These are the four eyeshadow trios. I think my favorite ones based on the pigmentation would have to be the Rose Quartz. It's a really great color payoff and the pigmentation is beautiful. And the Clear Quartz would have to be my least favorite just simply because it's so icy and it's such a cool tone and I just don't think it'd be compatible with my skin color. Um, but there is definitely something for everyone in this collection. I'm just going to put together a quick little look using one of the palettes and I think that I'm going to go with, I always do pink shades. I feel like I should try something different. I don't know. How about I use both? <laughs> when you can't decide, do both. So I think I'm going to use the um, purple amethyst and the rose quartz for an eyeshadow look right now. So as I mentioned before, I already have a base matte shade on. I think that you definitely need another companion palette to use these shades uh, just for your crease color and your transition color. Crack into Rose Quartz and do the lid shade. So I'm just going to go in with this particular shade right here, this rose gold color. With metallic shades, you can spray a setting spray to the shadow or your brush and that will actually make the color look a lot more pigmented. So I think that I'm actually gonna go in with my fingers. In the inner corner, I'm gonna go in with this metallic shade right here from the Rose Quartz palette. So that's the Rose Quartz palette right there, and this is the rose gold shade on my lids as well as a little bit of that lavender color in the inner corner use this amethyst uh, palette as well for the lower lash line so what i do find with this purple is that you have to build it up it's not an instant color payoff So I'm just going to apply some lashes and mascara off camera. Here you have it. This is the eye look using the uh, Rose Quartz and Amethyst palette. And I'm going to dig into their highlighter here. It is a Mega Glow highlighter. And let's give it a try. Highlighter in the collection is called Crystal High. And they only have one highlighter in the collection. And it looks a little on the silvery side. And oh my god, it is 
like a cream highlighter. I don't know if you could tell. It's super, super soft and oh my gosh, the pigment. Holy smokes. So I will swatch it here for you guys. Highlighter looks to be a little bit creamy. I'm gonna try applying it with my hands first onto my cheekbones. And it is super, super pigmented. It's very easy to blend, which is great. It is a little on the silvery side. I think that if your complexion is any deeper than mine, I think that this would look a little too silvery for you. Um, but if you're fair to medium, then you should be able to get away with it. So this highlighter looks wet on the skin. It's absolutely beautiful. I'm gonna put a little down the nose bridge. And I'm gonna take a little bit of the highlighter and put it on my eyebrow. Pick up this package here is the Brightening Rocks, the sponge protector, and it has these brightening rocks in it. And I think that this might be like a highlighter. Yes, it is like a highlighter. So I'm going to apply it over top of the Mega Glow highlighter. If I had to choose one highlighter only from this collection, I would definitely choose Crystal High. It's a lot more pigmented. It's a creamy formula, so I think that this is much more of a better buy versus the Rocks. Now that my face makeup is pretty much done, I'm going to pull one of the items here, which is a setting spray called the Wet n Wild Aura Booster, and it's a face mist. So I don't think it's a setting spray. I think it might be like a makeup refresher. I'm gonna spritz it over my makeup. So there's not much of a scent to it. And, and the one thing that I am gonna say is that I'm super impressed with the pump on this. The pump on it is actually like a super fine mist. It doesn't come out in like water droplets or anything like that. Um, so I do like this uh, refresher. I don't think this is gonna be mattifying and I don't think it's actually intended for that purpose, but it's a good way to sort of refresh your makeup. Onto my favorite part, which is lip glosses. So let's get into that. So this collection has matching lip glosses for every crystal theme. So here are the four crystal lip glosses that come in the collection, and I will swatch all of them for you. I'm gonna say offhand, I absolutely love the packaging. They've taken the time to put little crystal holographic details on every single um, lip uh, wand. So I think that's super, super pretty, and the shades are stunning. So I'm gonna swatch them on the back of my hand for you guys. First one here is Jade. And please ignore my scar on my hand. It's like the worst timing for swatches. And it has green reflex in it. The next shade up is going to be Clear Quartz. And this has, it's a clear gloss with pink reflex in it, pink and purple reflex in it. Although on camera, it's looking very silvery, but there are in the light, when you look at it up close, there are some pink and purple reflex in there as well. The next shade, which I'm sure is gonna be my favorite, is the Rose Quartz color, and that's a very pinky color with gold reflex in it. Beautiful. And one thing about these glosses is they don't feel sticky at all. So that's another good thing. So far we have Jade, Clear Quartz, and Rose Quartz. And last but definitely not least is Amethyst, my birth month, and I feel like this color is going to be so cool. Amethyst is like a purple with a couple of, I think it has some pink reflex and I can see some blue reflex in there as well. So definitely the colors that have the most payoff are Rose Quartz and Amethyst. When I look at this lineup, I think that the most pigmented shades are the Rose Quartz and the Amethyst shade. I'm going to choose the Rose Quartz. So that is Rose Quartz on my lips, and I'm absolutely in love with how this look turned out. It's so simple, but at the same time, I love the crystal theme and how colorful everything is. The last thing that comes in this collection are fragrances. These are roller ball fragrances 
they do have little tiny uh, crystal rocks on the bottom of each um, roller ball. I'm not gonna get into these because I feel like I'm not really good at describing scents to be honest and um, I will leave it up to you guys to be the judge of which one you really really like but just so you guys do know they do have fragrances in this line which is super unique I don't think they've done that before so so that completes my unboxing and thoughts and swatches of the Crystal Cavern collection by Wet n Wild and if you like this video give it a thumbs up and if you didn't like this video but you like me give it a thumbs up please you can just go right ahead and find the thumbs up button somewhere below um but definitely uh subscribe and join the family i will be uploading one to two times a week i'll aim for two and um please leave a comment below with your thoughts your thoughts on this collection did you pick it up what item was your favorite item i want to hear it i want to know all of it and um, please join me on my Instagram page. It is Boxy Charm Sneak Peek. I will put it in somewhere on this page and in the description below. So I'm very active on there. I post daily. Um, so definitely connect with me on there as well. And thanks guys for staying tuned for this video. And I hope to see you on the next one. So take care guys. All the best.